Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in information theory and coding. In this tutorial, we'll talk about the difference between Manchester encoding and differential Manchester encoding. These two encoding techniques are very popularly used to send digital data over the channels. Uh, the reason why we encode digital data or a series of zeros and ones is um, clear from the previous discussions that we have done on line coding techniques. It helps us in improving the BSD, it helps us in timing extraction and so on and so forth. But in this particular tutorial we'll talk about the difference between these two popular encoding schemes. Now Manchester encoding is pretty popular. This has already been discussed in the line coding uh, techniques chapter. In this uh, encoding technique, now I'll talk about the notations for Manchester encoding. A one is represented by keeping the signal at plus V voltage for half the bit time and then toggling it to negative V for the rest of the time. So this is what the notation for one will be. So it will stay at plus V voltage for half the bit period and will move to the negative territory to minus V for the rest of the bit period. And similarly a zero is represented using uh, the exact opposite notation. So zero starts from a negative voltage and goes to a positive voltage within the half time of the bit period. After having these notations in mind we could uh, encode this code using Manchester encoding. So a 1 is represented like this and of course a 0 is represented like this. Again a 1 starts from the positive value ends at the negative value and 1 will start at the positive value will end in the negative value and this is an abrupt transition but we need to show it no matter what and 0 will start from negative will stay in the positive territory for the half bit period again will start from the negative will stay in the positive zone one starts from the positive zone ends in the negative zone zero starts in the negative zone and ends in the positive zone so that is how manchester encoding will be done for this code now if we talk about differential manchester encoding you need to note down its notation very carefully. The notation says that there will be a transition at zero or you'll need to make an edge at zero and at one there will be no transition or you can continue from where you left off in the previous bit. So no transition will occur. For example, when we moved from one to one, there was this transition, this heavy transition going from extreme minus V to plus V. So, but zero will, will have transitions and one will not have transitions. It will go continuous. I'll show you that with an example. Now when we talk about <coughs> uh, the same code representation in differential Manchester encoding will start off from 1 in the normal way. 1 will stay plus V for half the bit period and will go to minus V for the next bit period. Now when we go to 0 we need to do a transition 
So a transition will be something like this. Going from minus V to V. So please understand this notation of zero does not correspond to its normal behavior. But because of a transition happening, this will look like a one, but this is not a one, it is a zero representation. So a transition can be you know, shown like this. And then uh, after this zero, we have a one and we do not do any transition on one and we continue uh, with the wave. So no transition will result me in this kind of a wave. And again, we have a one and a no transition will result me in this kind of a wave, which is similar to what one, rep one is represented in Manchester encoding, but this is a mere coincidence because we have just continued from the previous one add plus V and a zero will give us an abrupt transition. So this will be zero. And again, a zero will give us an abrupt transition. So again, a zero. And one will continue as it is. And a zero now gives me an abrupt transition from here. So from this thing, you could say that a zero could be represented like this or can be represented like this, right? Just look at this case, this case and this case. Here the transition went from minus V to V. So it looked something like this. And in this case of zero, the transition went from plus V to minus V. So it looked like this. So basically what you need to remember is that there is a transition or an edge at zero and there is no transition and the signal will continue its uh, journey uh, when a one is encountered. So that is how Manchester encoding is different from a differential Manchester encoding. But both of them have their own advantages and disadvantages and uh, they need to be understood step separately to uh, perform various numericals on spectral density, etc. But that is how uh, we need to draw the line codes for these. And I hope this tutorial was of help. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.